Welcome to this Bream International 2016 new construction video about some of the changes that are coming up with the new scheme. We're going to look at why we've changed the scheme, what's changed and give you some key dates that you need to be aware of. So first of all, why did we change the scheme? Well, the first thing we wanted to address was the relationship with the refurbishment and fit-out scheme that was launched last year. We also wanted to include some standard building types such as hotel and education buildings, address some of the challenges faced by residential buildings and take the opportunity to align with international best practice and make sure we were still driving the industry forward. So first of all, what changes have we made? Well, let's start with the things that haven't changed. None of the Bream process has changed. The registrations, the certifications are still the same process. They're just going to be done through our new online tool. There will be no license changes for assessors. The assessors that are currently registered for new construction 2013 will be able to continue doing assessments for the 2016 version. But what have we changed? Well, the first thing we looked at was the scope for speculative buildings. And we've introduced two new assessment types for shell only buildings and shell and core projects that align with the different parts of the refurbishment and fit out scheme. We have also addressed some of the challenges for residential buildings. So we've broken the building type of residential down into single and multiple dwellings and also split it between fully fitted and partially fitted dwellings as well. And then we adjust the accredits as appropriate to those building types. Looking at some of the issues that we've revised, one of the first things we've done is reorganize the management section to make it flow with the assessment process. We've also improved the standards for indoor air quality. The standards have been raised to reflect new international regulations, and we've adjusted the scope of the issue in terms of what emissions are covered. We've revised the calculation for energy efficiency of buildings and demand is one of the key changes there. It will now only be included if it improves the score. We've also broadened the scope of the low carbon technologies. It's now looking at a low carbon design solution. As well as those changes to existing issues, we've also introduced three new issues and these are materials efficiency, the adaptation to climate change, and functional adaptability. These are all making the building more efficient and more resilient to future changes. The key dates that you need to be aware of are the launch of the Bream International New Construction 2016 scheme, which is the 21st of March this year, and then the closure of the current Bream International New Construction 2013 scheme, which closes at midnight on the 28th of March. So you've got a brief overlap between the two schemes. Please be aware that the Bream office is closed on the 25th and 28th, so get your registrations in early and make sure you take that opportunity to ask any questions now rather than waiting till the last minute. Thank you very much for your attention. We look forward to working with you with the new scheme in the future.